little rabbit here. It was brought in for um, severe patialism, mainly on the right side. And we uh, brought him in for x-rays today, but we actually did the old stick test, Ta-da! Um, which uh, <clears throat> doesn't give us as detailed a picture, but it does save Mambo quite a bit of money as far as that goes. So I actually put this thing in the teeth, in the, in, the, in the jaw, and you can actually see where the bite marks and stuff are there. Those are some points, and we ended, this guy basically in the, in the horsey word needs his teeth floated. So we're gonna schedule, get him on some antibiotics for a few days, and then schedule him for next week, and we'll get his teeth fixed. And hopefully all will be well after that. Dude, come here, say hi. Come say hi. Yeah. Hey, it's like, no, you stick stuff in my face. I ain't coming out there again. A little bunny here just got some, some good drugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop tripping. <laughs> tripping hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Okay, it is Thursday afternoon, isn't it? Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> just past morning. Anyway, this is our uh, patialism rabbit from last week. They had the right side of patialism, and on the, I call it the stick test, we actually had some points. So today we're going to go ahead and shave those down and get that taken care of. He's just been given his uh, his night night juice, and he's nighty nighting as we speak. So we're gonna get him up. Um, we uh, have our usual instruments here, uh, but today hopefully get some pictures on the inside. I've got this new um, portable endoscope set up. Uh, I've got tons and tons of scopes. I even have light sources, but I didn't have this part here to actually be able to put the uh, what we see on the scope on the screen. So this is kind of new. I'll get to try this out today and play with it. So maybe we'll get some, uh, one of the hardest things about these cases is actually getting a good picture of what's happening on the inside of the mouth, and that just might make the difference. We will see. And there's a usual rabbit dentistry, a drill to make sure we can um, smooth out some edges, and that's it. Anyway, cool. <laughs> All right, we are inside the rabbit's mouth, and you can see right there are some points Got them right there hanging off to the side. It's definitely some malocclusion. So there's that. And if we move the tongue aside over here, we can actually see where those are actually. Oh, there's your point right there. If I can get that to. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that sharp thing. Right into the base of the tongue. That had to hurt. Actually, that side don't look bad at all. Okay, let's get to trimming. part you don't really realize you're actually pulling out <laughs> <laughs> yeah how much you hate pulling out I know anyway if you, <laughs> if you look here you can actually see this part of the tongue see how it's actually cut away that's where that tooth has been eroding at that tongue for a while that is just bad you see a nice straight edge to here and then there's a big cut in the tongue 
All right, so we can fix this guy. All right, I got I got to get to work now. <laughs> Man, that's hurt. That hurt. Is that short? Uh huh. Ooh, poor baby. This whole tongue's been cut aside. He's been biting his tongue for a while. Is that piece of tooth I just cut got the way <laughs> okay um, you can actually see where the teeth up top were trimmed and I actually nicked a little piece of tissue there that's actually not so abnormal um, let me go over here and grab mr. tongue oh so get this out of the way also noticed that on the bottom you can actually the scar tissue there where the tongue has been cut that tooth is no longer in the way and causing any issues there all right, you can see the, the tooth parts in the background right there at about the uh, 9 o'clock position. So anyway, the good news is we shouldn't be causing any more of these ulcers with the teeth. Uh, that arcade right there is actually about what they're supposed to look like. On the other side, I did trim some of the teeth underneath the tongue there as well. But anyway, I think this actually looks pretty good. That's not bad at all. Focus. Anyway, just uh, the part that really is remarkable for me is exactly how much this uh, this tongue has scar tissue on it from where that tooth has been biting into it. Can you imagine every other bite you have actually cutting into your tongue? I mean, if you look there at about the 9 o'clock position, you can actually see. I'm not actually doing all the moving. That's amber. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not responsible for all this fuzziness. Anyway, so that's it for now. Um, our teeth are trimmed, and the tongue should heal. The antibiotics have done are done a really good job so far, and that should be cool. All right, there we are. Later. Focus. There. Wow. All that time. Okay. Good night.